Hi, hi, hi. Hi, everybody. Okay. So um, let me um, share with you, uh, um, um, you know, about the uh, digital grant that the uh, Selangor government is providing. Okay, everybody can see the, uh, you know, the slide, right? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes, can. Uh, yeah, we are talking, going to talk about the SME digitalization, right? Okay, as we know that uh, during this pandemic time, obviously, uh, like it or not, COVID has become one of the main push towards the digitalization, right? Um, and I want to start with uh, talking about Olympics because I think everybody's watching Olympics, right? And you realize that actually uh, teams like Taiwan actually replacing Malaysia as the, uh, you know, uh, the leaders in, in, uh, in uh, badminton and some of the sports, right? So one of the major reasons why teams like, uh, you know, uh, other teams like Taiwan and uh, other, you know, countries has uh, surpassed us one well, of the major issue is they are using digitalization. Uh, they are using tech in their sports. For example, um, in, in badminton, in, in football, in basketball, now you see AI has been used to predict where the player will shoot from and which where, where will they score most from, from the point, certain spots, right? And what time, okay? So there's a prediction about your opponents, what will they do? And also the heat map, uh, you know, sensor heat map to show that where your opponent are and where you move around. And then, you know, uh, which steps that actually make you score more points, right? Okay, that, that is AI. And also VR being used in, in the sports that, uh, you know, now we have theater, we have, we have uh, all this uh, theater room and stuff like that. So the VR will be able to allow you to feel what is this like uh, competing in Tokyo. Okay, so VR has been used. So AR, VR, and even uh, AI been used in sports. So that you look at the, uh, for example, some of the sports uh, is uh, most obvious one is the uh, diving, right? Immediately when the diver finish the jump, uh, when he gets up, the coach will show him the iPad because basically that's a software to show that the simulation, whether he has made the right move, you know, uh, whether the leg is, uh, is straight uh, when they go into the water and stuff like that. So this is some of the example of, uh, you know, between the top uh, sportsmen, the differences may be 5 to 10%, but using digital tools assists you. So if you want to be better than the rest of the country, you want to win gold medal, uh, bronze or silver, you need to have that. Besides the hard, uh, you know, the hardworking, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, poor in that by, by the sportsman, but we need, uh, besides you have good coach, you need uh, digital tools to assist you. That's why we are talking about in the business is the same. Um, you also need digital tools, right? Okay. So the digital tools we are talking about is a lot of misperception about uh, whether my, my business has been digitalized. Um, a lot of people thought that if I have a strong presence on uh, social media, if I start to sell on uh, e, uh, you know, uh, marketplace, uh, e-commerce, uh, either product or services, I already been digitalized. And if you look at the, uh, the, the ranking, actually Malaysian are very active in social media, uh, you know, uh, mobile media, and as well as on the, uh, you know, uh, uh, social, uh, on the online presence. Like, so for example, uh, YouTube, um, there's a figure that every minute some Malaysian upload four videos on, on, on YouTube. But however, when you come to the digital tools, you look at it, uh, actually in your businesses, uh, Malaysian are actually, um, uh, you know, adopting, uh, you know, the adoption rate of the digital tools is very low. You look at the highest is only uh, cloud uh, finance accounting is only 50% and HR 28% and the lowest is ERP order fulfillment and, and the rest only 10 to 11%. It means that basically we are relying a lot on uh, human, uh, right, doing and that's the weakness also displayed uh, during the COVID time. Uh, like the one of the major issues is that uh, our factories, uh, you know, is be be being uh, accused of the uh, biggest uh, infection uh, group. But we, we I mean, there, there's a difficulty to shut down the factories uh, because you, you need to keep the whole country moving. Uh, you need to keep the supply chain moving. So that's the debate of it. But it also shows that one of the major reasons is that we are relying a lot on human. So we can't, um, you know, use tech. We can't use digital tools to, to reduce our dependency. 
and and but but then uh, by having digitalization, maybe that's uh that's a way out for for it. Okay. So when we talk about digitalization, what is digitalization uh, of your business? Um, basically, at the at the end of the day, is that you want to uh, make business de decision with data. So how where do you get all this data? And then you can do this uh, processes on just on um, you know not hardware but software, and then you will be able to do it any place, anytime, anywhere you 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 like. Okay. So for example, you have digital presence, and um, you know, and of course you need uh, digital marketing and sales. Uh, you know. Uh, tools to able so that people can find you because uh, it's, uh, the, the internet is like a big sea, right? So everybody, everybody is swimming on it. But how do I make my visibility uh, much more higher that people will be able to, to, to notice me, okay? And then, of course, I want to uh, sell or buy uh, my product or services online. Uh, now, on, even on Shopee Lazada, you can buy tourism product, for example, before the MCO 3.0. And then, uh, of course, then uh, for, for a lot of FMB uh, businesses, um, you will now do have an EPO system integrated with your delivery, right? If you want to do delivery. Um, and then, of course, you will have a digital operation, goods and services, and then a digital process on your back end. For example, you want to um, still, you can't go to the office, but you still want to, um, because you work from home, but you still want to, conduct your HR payroll system, right? Because you need to uh, process a salary and uh, paying to the income tax and stuff like that. But if you, if you use the digital tools, you will be able to process your HR payroll system uh, just within the 15 minutes and uh, even uh, connected to, to the income tax department and stuff like that. And also if, and then uh, ERP accounting tax system will be able to allow you to, uh, you know, uh, process your invoices any place, anytime and as you wish. And with a lot of the data, of course, you want to protect your, your data with cybersecurity. And, and of course, with more data, you'll be, you have, uh, you'll be able to use the advanced tools such as AI, blockchain, IoT. Um, you know, um, the sports is one of the example. But then, of course, in, in the, if you translate that into your business, is that uh, you'll be able to use all these advanced tools to know that um, what time that, for example, if you have a... When we, were, when we were talking about physical talk store, right? When you have a physical store, you know that what time the, uh, the customer come in, uh, what rotation uh, on the left, on the right, the, uh, most uh, customer will walk to, what product that they will touch, or if online uh, platform, you'll be able to know that what time the customer come in, how much time they spend on uh, certain products and how much of them has put the uh, products in the shopping cart, but instead haven't been, uh, you know, uh, finally done the sales. Um, so you need to improve your conversion and stuff like that. So this all this gives you a lot of data that uh, what is your big weakness of your businesses, what the things that you should be uh, improved so that your conversion will be increased. And then how do you need to talk to your customers so that they become your return customer, they will become your ambassador to actually introduce your product to other friends as well. So data analytics, uh, you know, uh, business it will be, uh, and also business insight will be helpful for you to understand your business, right? And uh, to make all the decision with the data. But of course we know that uh, that's a lot of challenge towards the digitalization. A lot of people are afraid of digitalization because they, they think that they, they don't have a, their lack of knowledge, they wouldn't have, uh, overall strategy, uh, the other major complaint is that uh, lack of human resource or the uh, digital talents that, um, you know, were able to carry out the processes. Of course, uh, 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 from the management side, they were uncertain about the ROI. So uh, if I invest so much, uh, would I get this ROI? And of course, the, the major the challenge came from a lack of view from the top management because uh, you know, a lot, maybe a lot of the bosses are get used to the uh, comfort zone, but now when they need to change, um, you know, that is reluctant because there's something new that they never experienced before. There's a fear about um, trying out all this, right? And a lot of, um, you know, uh, misconception or not understand about the whole processes. But basically, um, if you really conduct the digitalization, if you embark on the process of digitalization, um, you would felt that immediately 20 to 30% of your business efficiency has been increased, um, you know, reducing manpower, 
but then uh, you know you will be able to reach out to more customer much more wider customer audience and then you will be uh, sharper in terms of uh, you know how you do uh, you know, in sharper in uh, identifying your customer and then, uh, you know, you directly deal with the customer groups that are most likely to be converted. So basically, um, this is what in China, you will be saying, Jing Zun Tou Fang, you know, all, all this thing, right? So the in order to assist our SME in Selangor to embark on the digitalization process, the uh, Selangor government has embarked on a program called Selangor SME Digitalization Matching Grant. Uh, Selangor government is providing 5 million of matching grant in order to benefit the 1,000 SME in Selangor. Uh, to assist them, uh, it's a matching grant, it means that uh, you cover 50% of your cost if you, if you sub, uh, subscribe to a, a digital uh, two services. And the five digital a, uh, digitalization areas that we identify are e-commerce, uh, digital marketing, cloud accounting, HR and payroll system, and the last one is the e-post and uh, payment gateway. So these are the five major, uh, you know, our basic uh, digitalization areas that, uh, you know, if you start to implement in your business, um, you know, um, then you actually embark on the uh, early stage of the digitalization. And we have been uh, doing a lot of forum. We have organized a more than 10 forum, um, you know, 10 to 15 forum already. Um, to and then uh, bringing in a groups of the uh, digital service provider or the vendor that been certified by CDEC as well as the MDEC in uh, that will be able to provide you uh, with the ideas and with the insight of how to embark on digitalization right so we have already started our session one in March until July now we are opening for session two in from uh, 1st of August until October uh, 31st for the SME to apply. And then the application process is very simple. Just go to our website, um, www.cdec.com.my. And then you look at it and then you choose the, uh, go to the website, you, cho you choose the uh, digital grant site and then you choose the, uh, the areas that you want to implement and then the list of the uh, vendor or digital service provider, talk to them uh, and then get the quotation and then uh, send the application form to us. So as long after the approval, then you, you can start to embark on the uh, digitalization process and then send us back the uh, activation, um, proof of activation after you get the approval and then you apply it and then you send us a proof of activation and then we'll release a grant. Usually we release a grant uh, uh, far, rather quickly, a month after you send us the uh, documentation, uh, proof of activation, and then you only pay 50% of the uh, services Right. So the maximum grant that uh, Selangor government is paying 5,000. So it, which means that uh, you can apply for services up to 10,000. Really. Okay. So we have uh, conducted our first batch uh, from uh, 15 April to 15 June. Uh, almost uh, 492 applicants. Uh, we approved 280. So we already dispersed uh, uh, around 1.2 million. So we are opening up for batch two from uh, 1st of August to 31st. Uh, October 2021. Um, so you can go to the link to uh, click on it and apply, right? So for the SME eligibility, uh, it's rather straightforward, 51% uh, owned by Malaysian, and also for company registered in Selangor or have a business address in Selangor. Uh, listen very carefully, we are very inclusive. So we purposely highlighted uh, not only company registered in Selangor, that's automatically, but if you have a business address, branches in Selangor, stuff like that, as long as you have a business address, you are eligible to apply. And then in operation for at least one year, because I think the purpose is to assist those uh, industry who were badly hit by, um, you know, uh, COVID. So, um, so that is why we want to assist those in operation for at least one year. And then uh, minimum uh, requirement, uh, sales turnover of 300,000, but not exceeding 3 million. I think that this is the, the, the groups that, uh, you know, SMEs that uh, need the most help. And, uh, okay, and, but you can show us the, uh, no need 20, uh, 20 uh, you know, um, 
proof of uh, business turnover, but then you can show us 2019. As we know that a lot of businesses were badly heated by in 2020 and 2021. So you can uh, also use the, uh, you know, account of 2019 as a proof of uh, your sales turnover of more than 300,000 and above, but, but not exceeding 3 million. We know that some company, uh, you know, may exceed 3 million, but they still want to apply. Uh, yes, uh, they still can apply, but we'll look at it from case by case basis and also looking for the uh, reasoning, um, you know, why, uh, uh, why they want to appeal for the uh, application of the process. Um, you're welcome to do that. Okay, uh, and also it's limited to one applicant per company. However, the SMEs, that company can uh, subscribe up to three services, but the, with the total cap of uh, matching grant is 5,000 ringgit. Okay. And then uh, we are open for Sundaram Brahat and also sole proprietorship. Um, so basically, you just uh, show us the audited financial statement. Um, even up to uh, from uh, 2019 is good enough, or the last uh, latest 12 months uh, management account or the latest uh, 12 month uh, profit and loss statement is okay. Okay. Um, and then just send us the invoice. And then when they approve, and then you just pay your off uh, 50%. While uh, CDEC will pay, the Oslano government will pay uh, the other 50%. Okay, so just uh, send us the uh, invoice uh, F during the application. This application is all done online, it's rather simple. Just attach, uh, fill in, and attach the document. Okay, and uh, I want to take this time also to introduce about CDEC. CDEC uh, the, or CTEC, the predecessor, um, you know. Uh, has been uh, has been established since uh, five years ago. We are in ICT. We have uh, eleven thousand square feet. Soon be to be thirteen thousand square feet. Uh, digital hub uh, in uh, in Shalam ICT. Okay. Um, so um, so our full name is uh, Slango Information Technology and Digital Economy Corporation. Um, so a lot of us known us as the uh, Slango State uh, MDAC. Um, so. One of the thing, major things I've been, been organizing for the last five years is on a, a program on e-commerce class, startup, and also SME digitalization. So these are the classes, these are the conference that we organize, training that organize. So we also, we also took our startup team um, to overseas trip. Uh, we went to Jingdo, Alibaba, and also to pitch at the Silicon Valley. I took our startup and businesses. Um, so we went to Google, Facebook, Apple, and also and also to pitch to some of the VCs in Silicon Valley. Um, and though also we have organized a pitch at Slango and also the uh, Malaysia Top E-Commerce Award uh, competition as well. So there are a lot of uh, events that have been organized for the last uh, four years. And then uh, during the uh, COVID pa pandemic uh, time, the Slango government also, uh, you know, uh, utilized 7 million of voucher, 7 million ringgit of voucher for the Slango e Bazaar campaign on 2020 and 2021. So we managed to uh, onboard almost uh, 300,000 uh, merchants in Slango and including uh, 74,000, uh, almost 75,000 uh, new sellers in, uh, on, uh, to, to onboard on Shopee and Lazada. And from the 7 million vouchers allocated, uh, generated sales of 144.26 uh, uh, million. And then uh, we, the uh, you know, uh, creating this uh, ripple effect to the economy of a uh, 2.95 billion. So it's actually a wonderful uh, result from the campaign. But it should also shows that the uh, e-commerce has grown leaps and bounds, and the digitalization process is uh, ever crucial. Okay, so these are some of the achievements that we work with. For example, and then this program also benefited some of the SMEs. Uh, uh, or micro SMEs uh, in, uh, in, in rural areas for this, for example, for Mr. Mohamed Ghazali Anwar. Um, so he's from Sabak Benam, he's selling Sambal Bitter Ground, fried bitter ground on, on Shopee. So by joining our sales campaign, uh, eBaza campaign, the sales has increased to four to 3,000 ringgit per day. Okay. So we also organize free, uh, you know, e commerce class, CDEX e commerce class. Uh, it's actually, in fact, uh, we organized five classes already for the past one month. You can still join us. Uh, and then we are organized, already organized ATG classes uh, with uh, 8,841 uh, attendees, okay, physical and online class. So these are our online class. 
Um, so in August, we still will be organizing one, two, three, four, five classes, you know, uh, from uh, 12 August, 17 August, 17 and 19 August, um, you know, uh, and also every time we invite three, um, you know, uh, experienced speakers um, to, to share about what's their strategy on, on, on selling online. Okay, so you can go to our Facebook site, uh, CDEC MY, and also our uh, uh, website, uh, www.cdec.com.my, to look for the schedule of our free e commerce classes all online. And uh, before the e commerce, uh, before the COVID hit us, we also actually touched, went to the uh, second tier cities of Slango to touch base with uh, traditional brick and mortars of micro SME. We bring Shopee, Lazada, Google, Boost, Ninja Van, Avana, Ubali to them so that they will subscribe to the services. And then we also took in uh, 100 merchants uh, every year to provide them training and assist them to onboard with online 100 and brand center program. Basically, uh, assist you to start to sell on marketplace such as Shopee, Lazada, and uh, Ubali. Uh, we sync it up so that you use one system, you'll be able to sell in three places. Uh, it's free. Uh, in our e-commerce class and all is free. Eh? All our program on CDEC is free. And then uh, also uh, providing you with, uh, you know, uh, a free website that uh, allow you to have a full-fledged uh, shopping chart and also uh, payment gateway allow you to start selling on your own website as well. And we organize the one and only top uh, uh, e-commerce merchant awards to award the uh, most successful, creative, uh, innovative uh, uh, homegrown e-commerce uh, seller. So for the year 2020 online sales competition, we have 123 participants. Of course, uh, the, these are all qualified by uh, having a sales of uh, 50,000 uh, per month or 200 orders at least in, in, in a year uh, or a month. And with uh, 36 million sales, uh, 264,000 orders, right? And uh, that's all for me. Um, so if you want to look for more uh, information about the uh, digital grant, uh, the, the uh, Slango SME digital matching grant, which provide 5,000 ringgit assistant uh, matching grant to your uh, SME businesses, uh, do go to our uh, Facebook site, uh, my and also to our website, cdec.com. All the information is up there. And then the application, you can also done on our Facebook site as well. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you.